For this trip, we head over to a town called Stansbury, which is on York Peninsula, and after leaving home here in Adelaide, we go north to Port Wakefield, where we cross the top of the Gulf, and then we head south as we go down to Stansbury. It's an easy two hour drive from home to Stansbury, but because of the out of day that we left, we stopped here at uh, our Drossen and had lunch. Once we're all set up in Stansbury, we'll show you around the town of Stansbury, and then we'll head down to the jetty and show you the boat ramp and the jetty area. Once we leave the jetty, we'll take a look at the Stansbury water tower art and have a look at the art that's been painted on the tower. And finally, we'll show you around the Stansbury foreshore caravan park where we stayed for two nights. As well as this, you'll see some of the seals as they swim and play in the water. I'm Mick. And this is Sally. Together we've been caravanning Australia since the 1980s and more recently we started to put the videos together just to show you some of what we see out there. There's a lot to see in Australia and we hope you enjoy what we have here to show you. You can follow us on our trips via the following social media platforms. If you like the following video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, good day everyone. Well, it looks like the weather's really going to turn it on for us uh, here at Stansbury. We come down this morning, we had rain, very little wind, which was good. And uh, yeah, now the rain's all clearing off. We've got uh, pretty well blue skies for the best part of the sky. So hopefully tomorrow will be nicer. But two nights here, first one now. So uh, hope you enjoy what we've got to show you. It was late in the morning when we left Adelaide to head down towards Stansbury and we only got as far as Ardrossan and we drove down through the main street as we are here and then we went into a day parking visitors tourism area I suppose and uh, you can overlook the water here so we pulled into the parking bay here to the left which is for long vehicles, caravans and trucks and so on and uh, we stayed here and had lunch and uh, made our way after that but it was a bit of an overcast and gloomy day but uh, as the day progressed, that slowly cleared. You perch up fairly high here on top of the cliffs and you can see the grain loading facilities there as well as the town jetty here, which is uh, supposedly pretty good for fishing and crabbing. After our lunch stop, we're soon back on the road heading to Stansbury. Now early afternoon as we're coming down into the foreshore area of Stansbury and uh, we're getting more and more blue sky as the afternoon progressed. This was our first time staying at the Stansbury Caravan Park and uh, we were lucky enough on uh, this occasion of course that when we booked in we got a waterfront site so it was very pretty to stay there. By the time we'd set up on our site and got uh, everything in place that we wanted to do the tide was on its way out but it's certainly not very far behind the caravan where the water is. We didn't do very much on our first afternoon in Stansbury, we just went for a bit of a walk along the walking trails and so on along the beachfront here and plenty of green lawn and 
just hook in the atmosphere. One of the beach shelter sheds, you wouldn't want to be having a picnic there at high tide, you'd certainly get uh, wet feet. With no wind and the uh, late afternoon sun shining, it certainly made it a, uh, a picturesque place to look at with all its colour. There's a small break wall at the end of the caravan park and we found a couple of seals here trying to entertain the onlookers and uh, just swimming around enjoying themselves. Now standing out on that break wall trying to catch a bit of the afternoon sunset. It uh, didn't shine as much as I'd hoped but nevertheless it's uh, still very pretty to look at. And now here early in the morning looking back across the top of that break wall looking back towards the uh, east as the sun was coming up the following day. The morning light is a bit like the evening light I suppose, it just puts that different colour on everything and it just looks so much nicer to view rather than what you look at in the middle of the day. It was approximately a 7.30am high tide this morning and wouldn't this be lovely to go for a swim in that so close to the caravan if it was a nice hot day. The Stansbury community has certainly got the foreshore area set up well for tourists and even for residents. If you want to go down there and have a barbecue or a picnic, there's plenty of shelter, lots of shade and all this lush green lawn to enjoy. It's, it's really a very pretty sight. The tide does go out a long way and the area here to the left of the point now, um, that's all exposed at low tide, it is good firm sand to walk on, it's not mud and the main swimming area of course here is where we're looking now, that's to the right of that point as it heads back up into the town and that's a very firm bottom, great for swimming. I guess like most small country towns, Stansbury offers the usual uh, shopping facilities and the deli here, a lot of people enjoying coffee and the likes, I think it was there. The lower part of the York Peninsula was devastated in 2019 with bushfires and through some funding that they gained, they created the Peninsula Water Tower Tank and Mule Trail and here's some of the murals that are painted on the walls here within the township of Stansbury. The town of Stansbury is located within the sheltered area of Oyster Bay and because of that it offers very safe swimming and the tourists have got that to enjoy as well as that they've got all those uh, Lawn barbecue areas that we've seen earlier on, great fishing and all the facilities that you would want including a great caravan park. As you drive from the main town area to the jetty and the fishing uh, boat ramp area, you've got this green lawned area here and that's got shade and barbecues, it's just great for family picnics.
Stansbury has its own modern, well-protected boat ramp area here for launching your boat, and uh, certainly room within a big car parking area to leave your vehicle whilst you're out on the water. Alongside the boat ramp is the Stansbury jetty, and uh, that is a great jetty, that one. It's got handrails on both sides, so you shouldn't be able to fall off unless you're really doing something silly, but uh, it's all concrete bottom, so very safe to walk on. There wasn't too many people out fishing the day that we were there, but uh, for those that were out there trying, from what they were telling me, there wasn't much out there, so not a lot to be had, but as long as you're out there enjoying yourself, that's the main thing. For those that were trying their luck with the crabbing out there with nets off the jetty, it was a little bit like the fishing, there wasn't too many crabs to be found on the day. Like the two seals at the break wall near the caravan park last night, this single seal here at the boat ramp and jetty area, he was quite happy just to frolic around in the water and enjoy himself as he was floating there, turning side to side as he made his way along, but uh, not a worry in the world. Near the area that you walk out onto the start of the jetty is this harbour memorial and here's a area that is dedicated to some of the people of the area that have since passed and it's got beautiful green lawns, it's well maintained and a great picnic area for people to come down and enjoy the ocean views. As like the murals painted down on the buildings within the town, the water tower here has got the art on it and it's really it's a clever person that can paint a, an art piece as big as this and in the dimensions and the circumference around the wall that can keep it to scale and put so much colour into it. It's uh, one of many down on the York Peninsula. With the painting there of the pelican and the blue swimmer crab coming up very shortly, it certainly depicts what you're likely to see within the area of Stansbury. As mentioned before, this is the first time that we've actually stayed in the Stansbury Caravan Park and we're not quite uh, sure as to why. I know many years, and when I say many years ago, probably 20 years ago, we had a look at the Caravan Park and we actually looked over the southern fence at that stage and we thought, oh no, that's not for us because it was too crowded. Everyone was sort of jammed into small sites, well that's what it appeared at the time, but uh, it was only within the last 12 months that we took a walk through again and we thought yeah this is a place that we'd like to stay so we we're quite pleased in the end that we went down and uh, had a couple of nights there and we had that sea view there on the uh, water front edge that the site that we had and here we are now looking straight out onto the water very enjoyable spot to be at mm -hmm. 
it was quite obvious to Sally and I that there was a lot of people that uh, rebook each year and go down there at the same period because you could see very, very large groups that were getting together and having a bit of a yak around the late afternoon, the four o'clock happy hour type thing. And they'd use the camp kitchen here as a, one group was using that as a meeting room as well as others sitting down on the beach under the shelter sheds. But uh, the camp kitchen certainly got everything that you would want in there. It's very modern and flash. Just outside the camp kitchen area is the two barbecues here for patrons to use. And uh, what a view from the front veranda of the camp kitchen looking straight out over onto the water. And with fish cleaning facilities inside the caravan park like this one here, you always know that you must have some chance of catching some fish if you know what you're doing when they put something like this for you to use. The tide does go out a reasonable way on the uh, eastern side here and uh, it's reasonably firm ground but you'll see very shortly that when that water does come up it comes right up into the, uh, the wall there where the cabins are in the caravan park offering great views. There must have been some thought put into where they put this caravan park here with it overlooking uh, Oyster Bay. It certainly offers a very nice swimming beach. Although when the drone flies over the lawn area here it makes the lawn look a little bit patchy but uh, bear in mind you're almost looking directly down onto the lawn there now but as you walk around inside the caravan park and even along the foreshore the lawns were very lush green um, obviously they get watered when they should be watered but uh, it was very nice to see the lawns in the manner in which they were kept. On our second day at the caravan park, the tide appeared as though it went out a lot further than what it did on the first day that we were there, but it all adds to the changing scenery. With the incoming tide, that break wall certainly flattens the water on the uh, sheltered side of the wall. In the late afternoon today, there was a lot of cloud building up into the sky and I thought it might have uh, been in line for a nice sunset, but it wasn't to be, but never mind. As quick as the cloud built up as the sun was going down, it disappeared twice as fast, I think. the cloud gone the night before for the sunset there was certainly plenty of cloud around on our final day here as the sun was rising over on the eastern sky and uh, looking back towards Adelaide but no very colourful indeed. Yeah morning everyone our time here at Stanger is about over now so it's a pack up day unfortunately but oh it's been beautiful weather Plenty of sunshine, it's a bit overcast now as you can see but uh, that'll probably burn off as the day goes on. So yes we go home today, our next video that we'll be doing will be uh, the first in a series of uh, a trip over into Victoria, we're going across to Sale, Sally and I got four weeks annual leave so a bit of a run over there, we'll do a series of videos as I say as we go over there and uh, we leave a week after this one will go up on the channel so we're back into South Australia just in time for Easter so until that first video goes up, you take care and look after yourself. If you like the video that you just watched, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of our videos, click on the subscribe button. And once you've done that, change the bell notification to all. That way every time that we do uploads to our YouTube channel, you'll be notified.